I never really had chooks growing up. The breed that I've always wanted to get was, was Australorps. Uh, it's perfect for, for backyard farming or small scale farming. It's a dual purpose bird. You can eat it and uh, it lays a large amount of eggs as well. So when we heard about one of Australia's most highly respected chook fanciers down at, uh, at Bega, we, I wanted to go and meet him. And uh, what I found when I got there was even better than I could have possibly imagined. I noticed he had some Australops and I'm like, well, that's kind of what I'm after. He's like, oh, that's interesting. You should go for the Australops. My father and grandfather were directly involved in the development of uh, the Australop as a standard breed. All these chickens here are directly descended from the original Australops. And uh, you can take a breeding trio if you like. <laughs> and so that was unbelievable. I mean, they're, they're, they're the best genetic stock of Australop there'd be in, in the country. When he gave them to me, he's like, you could pretty much walk into any poultry show in Australia other than Bega or the Royal Sydney and win with these three birds. I dived off the coast, you know, around kind of headlands and underwater reefs, but never, never in the rivers. It didn't even really occur to me to dive in the rivers. And then when we got there, I mean, we're in about probably four or five meters of water and uh, just the whole bottom was just covered, absolutely covered in muscles. You couldn't, uh, you know, it was like Arnold Schwarzenegger's skeleton kind of thing. There were so many muscles there. It was, um, by the time you get a, a, you know, a bag of muscles that big, it's, it's, it's quite a weight. I just, it feels like a, a kid in a candy shop in a way, you know, it's um, from harvesting them in the water and then literally jumping out onto the bank and, and, and steaming them and smoking them on the beach there, I mean, it's hard to describe things that would be much better than that.